making music or any sort of art, it's like, it's like a wild animal. You don't want to capture it and tame it and domesticate it. You know what I mean? You don't want to own it. You don't want to possess it. You just want to coexist with it. You know, let it be free. Let it be beautiful. And you know what, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it sounds a bit fruity, but... My, my littlest daughter, who's three, she has this little game she likes to play with me where she yells, and that's right before she launches herself on top of me and kills me. So I got her to, to record Timber in here the other day and I, I kind of thought I wanted to have that on this track. So that, that, was, that was one of the ideas I had when I came in. I knew the track was going to be called Timber. I knew I was going to put a voice on there. That and that sort of those, those opening chords. Oftentimes I think that's all you need. You just need to have like one or two little th things to start a track. You know, I'm, I'm playing, usually playing all the instruments, and I'm composing the stuff, and so I'm, you know, I'm constantly thinking about things. So, you know, having an engineer in the first place is really great because they can plug everything in and they can make sure everything's working. And I'm not thinking about technical stuff. I'm just, I'm just in the moment of, you know, creating stuff and conceptualizing and all that. And it's a bit quieter than the bass. Yeah, maybe it's not that up. Well no, yeah. yeah, exactly. So straight away, if I didn't have that, it'd be like, oh, oh I gotta plug this in. Oh, that's not working. How come that's not coming up? You know, and then you've lost the vibe. This is Pierre, the beautiful French sound engineer. Hello. And the Pierre, you know, we've got we've got similar taste in music and similar reference points. I think we've been making records, you know, kind of for the same amount of time. You know, he him as an engineer, me as an artist. He kind of understands we have like certain things that, like when I did that 12 string guitar today on this track, he knew what I was going to ask him to do, which was to run to run the guitar through the space echo as a pre-delay to the Orbin spring reverb, which is something, it's a sound that, that we've used before and he just did it. Nice I mean, he's, he's, he's a funny guy, he's, he's, he, he's, he's quite weird and eccentric and, uh, you know, geeked out. Session. <laughs> He's French, I'm American. We both we're both foreigners living in Britain. Same amount of time. So we got kinda like you know interesting parallels, but we're both we're also quite different. Uh, I'm gonna start on the on the Casio. I'm gonna do some swell chords and then um, I'm gonna start playing a motif and then I'm gonna kick in the uh, drum machine. And then I will do just do like kind of the left hand bass bit of the Casio. And then we'll overdub the chords half the Oh you know we gotta get an S now, B. ED10 man. Go old early 80s cannibal movies. Yeah. You wanna hear some some really good live or is that right if you record it right? You can have an idea and you can record it and then you can put it out into the world and people can listen to it. It lived, has a life without you and that's really incredible. On one level it's what it's all about really. Making music's magic I think. We work until about 2.30ish. We break for lunch. We start at 11, we'll go to 2.30, 2.45 normally. I'm a vegan and uh, Pete will just eat anything I think. <laughs> then we head back to the studio and we can, we'll take, take about a, usually about an hour, hour and a half. So we come back quite fresh and then, we, then, we'll, then we'll work like until 8 o'clock. So it's like it's pretty civilized and we, we get a lot done and we don't get too burnt out. Uh, next. Let's do the, uh, the, the metal thing first and then we'll do the ashtray. Then we'll do the um, quejada. Okay. So that's three separate takes. You know what we should do with that P2? Um, is we should run that through the um, the Boss uh, digital delay. But you, you know that setting that's just where, where it just sounds like... Modulation, kind of, yeah. Yeah, like the, the robot-y thing. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Kind of, uh, you know, that, almost like, kind of like that weird cheap reverb sound. But I've been recording down here for about 15 years. This place is sort of home. You know, this is kind of where I've really developed um, musically 
and as a musician and a writer and a producer and all these things, a lot here. I mean, a lot of the gear, uh, the gear and instruments I use aren't, you know, uh, the most expensive. I'm, I kind of really enjoy cheap, funky stuff and one trick pony type things where they ma it makes one sound, but it's a good sound and has a lot of character. And I also, you, I can afford to buy more things that way. I'm not spending three grand on, you know, one piece of gear, which which you know you think's gonna turn water into wine you know they're like toys you know what i mean rather than some serious thing and so you i don't know i think straight away it makes you more playful oftentimes other musicians will listen to my music and they'll, they'll pick out a, a certain sound on a record and go what's that sound on there? that's really amazing sound and it's always something really cheap uh, it's almost perverse you know to get something really incredible out of something it costs a fiver So we're going to do some bass next. You know, drums was a word, and guitar was another word bass was another word. You put all these things together and you get a sentence that, that says something. You know, without the, the bigger picture, everything was just a detail, which on its own wasn't enough for me. I couldn't express myself through just playing an instrument. Uh, I, want to, I want to make a tune. I'm just messing it up like everybody else does, making it up as I go along. But uh, I make it up as I go along in here, but at least at the end of the day, I got a tune. That's gotta be it. We're out of here. That's gotta be it. We're finished. Yeah, man. Done. See you in the charts.